Right now, this is not weather for playing golf, but when the sun comes out and the golfers come to this course, they're going to get to hole number four and see the damage here on the green. Not only is this going to be expensive to repair, but this kind of damage is really hurtful because of the mission that this golf course has. When you go out there and you see this damage done on the green, it just it breaks your heart. For Honor Golf and Event Center owner Andrea Polite took us to see the damage. Monday night, someone did donuts on one of her greens. They've destroyed my green, and this was one of my most beautiful greens on this course. Polite bought the course five years ago, and as the mother of an Iraqi War veteran, decided to give it a unique mission. Our mission here at For Honor Golf and Event Center is to help honor and respect and provide wellness and healing to our veterans and first responders. Greens fees are waived for vets and first responders. There's a licensed counselor on site and even an AMVETS post. Finding a place where, where uh, men and women uh, coming back from the service can come and, and be around each other and heal and talk about their experiences they had, uh, brothers in arms, it's a wonderful thing. While inspecting the damage Tuesday, she snapped a picture of the suspected vandals back to inspect their handiwork. She said they were very young teens in red hoodies and white helmets, one on an ATV, the other a dirt bike. I stepped up and shook my finger at him. I got you now, and they took off. She's asking anyone who knows who they are to come forward. If the vandals are identified and held accountable, the golf course would like to see them sentenced to a lot of community service in hopes they might learn a lesson from their big mistake. In Jefferson County, Russell Kinsall, News 4.